The Cube presents HPE Discover 2022. Brought to you by HPE. Okay, we're back to wrap up HPE Discover 2022. The Cube's continuous coverage is day three. John Furrier, Dave Vellante. We had a business friend that we met during the pandemic, a really interesting gentleman, Norm Follett. He's the director of global technical marketing at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, a real innovator. Norm, great to see you. Thanks for making time for coming yeah. on theCUBE. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that you're giving me the opportunity to bring it home. Yeah, you should. know, if yeah. I'm only going to get one shot at it, it might as well be the last. <laughs> we always, we always <laughs> like to bring the energy in the last segment because you know, the cube we grind it out for, yeah. for three days. I mean, it's just such a great content yeah. injection, and yeah. so we love to wrap it up, especially with someone like yourself who can really help us convey the themes. But even more so, when we look around here, this entire ecosystem, you and your team built this, and we, so take us through that. Well, we did, you know, and it takes a village. You know, we have the core team, HPE Global Technical Marketing, uh, which is my team. And then of course we're partnered with other parts of the, our marketing organizations on different pieces, different aspects. And then we have a tremendous team of vendors that we work with on a regular basis, companies such as, you know, F2B and Ivory and others that, you know, really all kind of pitch in and they're, they're kind of my, I call them my flex force. You know, we also have another group called Promote Live and we bring all these people together. And, and in addition to all, all the vendors, we have something like 380 employees that come from all different parts of the organization to, to land in Las Vegas to man these booths and staff these uh, staff these exhibits. And so for one week, we get to really work as a, as a, a team, as a family. You know, there's no organizational borders, so to speak. You know, it, you know we're, we're a big company. <laughs> Everybody has, you know, different objectives and different things that they're focused on, but we get a chance to all get together and work as one one team. And so that, that the, the people aspect is what's so exciting. I think this week, and I, think I even saw some of your broadcast earlier, so I think it kind of it kind of came through as well, just the joy of, of being together, you know, yeah, sure. yeah. human beings. <laughs> and, and HPE's got a new spring in its step, which is so much focus brought to the table from Antonio and yeah. you know, the team is just aligning. Yeah, we do, and that's, you know, when, you go, when we start talking about the design and, you know, one of the things that, you know, we work on this months ahead of time, yeah. right? And so, it's kind of like a spinning top, you know, we, 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 keep, we, we keep spinning that thing, tightening up, and then this week you put it on the table and you just let it go, yeah. right? But it's that whole <laughs> multi-month process of, of, tw of twisting that top around and getting it going. And right at the middle, right at the centerpiece, and uh, the a core design principle and an ask from uh, Antonio is that we make sure that we major on HPE uh, GreenLake Edge to Cloud Platform. That, you know, it, it's a, obviously, you've been talking about it all week. Yep. Uh, we've been talking about it all week. It's a big focus of our company. And so right at the very center, we have our HPE GreenLake Edge to Cloud Platform demonstration. And then everything in the showcase then radiates from that centerpiece, uh, you know, right, right, at, right at the nexus of all the activity. So the experience starts there and propagates its well, way Well, I want to get into some of the themes and the set pieces you have here. Um, you are in technical marketing and this platform is a tech play. So it's not so much just solutions that you're enabling. The theme this year is very much technical marketing. So there's edge, especially cloud data and edge is the big themes. Security's baked in throughout the whole set right. as well and that messaging. But it's technical marketing right now. We had, you know, the, the platform play. Hewlett mm -hmm. Packard is a platform. Mm -hmm. Hewlett Packard Enterprise is a platform. It is, and it, it's, a, it is a, it's a software platform. Um, you know, it, it really completes a cloud strategy. And when you really think about it, I, I, again, I know some of these numbers have been floating around, um, but uh, you know, 70% of all data is still staying on-prem for good reasons. You know, and then 30% of it can be out there in the public cloud. Uh, so what you kind of have is an incomplete cloud strategy, if you will. And what's happened is that organizations have gotten spoiled a little bit by the cloud experience. Mm -hmm. Right, that you know, I you know, your your dev team say, go, hey, I just I want to work in Azure, I want to work in AWS, I love how I go through this process. Why can't I do that with my on-prem stuff? Why you know why you know I want that kind of experience. So IT organizations are really being challenged about how to create that that kind of service and that experience to their customers because expectations are because hey, data ha it has to be inclusive. It can't be exclusive to just one part of the organization. So. Yeah. I mean, so how did you, how did that impact, obviously, because GreenLake was coming together, you know, you got the multiple months in advance planning for this big event, right. a, lot of, a lot of work goes into it. What was some of the impact to the execution of this event um, that you can share uh, in terms of the set pieces, some of the displays? Was there, was there uh, I won't say radical, because it's not radical, it, looks, it turned out great, but what are some of the popular things happening here? What worked? 
what resonated with customers and what was different from, right. from uh, that GreenLake enabled you to do differently? Well, I mean, first, the first thing is that we, we kind of had a high touch experience at that center point, right? That nexus, the hub of the activity, the GreenLake Edge to Cloud platform uh, demonstration. And it started with us just kind of, you know, having the strategy about, first of all, if you, sh if you guys show this, and I, know, I think maybe you have, when you enter in, we've got like this big aha moment, right? And that aha moment is that platform right in the center, surrounded with wonderful visuals above, below, you know, behind, uh, all around it. But we, we had to think about, okay, now I'm staring at this thing, what am, how am I going to experience it? So uh, when I say a high touch experience, we start with a, what I call a platform generalist that would greet you up front, engage in the conversation, you know, so realize that you know, Dave is a network operations director, he's got some keen interests, he has some sort of peripheral idea about what the uh, HPE GreenLake Edge Cloud platform is about, but what can it really do for him? You know, what can, do, what can he use, how can he use it? So we start at that level of conversation, you know, socialize the core services, the attributes, you know, the, the technology that is actually enabling it. And then, as we've identified in our conversation that you're a network geek, you know, and you want to understand, you've heard about Aruba, you know, how's Aruba Central play into that? How do the networking services play into that? And so for then, we take that, that, that big leap and go up two steps up onto the platform, and we go over to the network specialist, what, I've, what I'm calling a platform specialist, uh, who understands all the things about the platform, but then is peaked in networking, and we have that conversation. And you see how the Aruba customer can benefit by this evolution, uh, and how the different platform services combine to give a holistic experience across a company. And so when I'm an IT ops director and I'm trying to service my network guys, my storage guys, my compute guys, my external cloud services guys, that this is an environment that I can So I you have an experience that. where they come in, they can easily move to a point quickly, in the display on the platform. And it's tailored bit. for that. Exactly, right? exactly That's right. That's the... Exactly beauty. right, and right. so if I transition over to you, you know, and you're my, you know, you're my specialist, you know, you're not saying, hey Dave, what brings you what here do you today? Do? <laughs> you know, I, I mean, you're pre-qualified, it's a pre-qualified yeah. conversation, we jump into it. And then that specialist is armed with knowledge as to where, okay, this guy is really interested in switching technology yeah. and switches yeah. as well. Well, that's demo 512. Mm -hmm. You know, let me have one of my colleagues take you over there. So then you're you're escorted over to demo 512 to go to the next level, or perhaps, and this has happened throughout the week, that people want to take a test drive of the environment. And so we have the HPE GreenLake Living Lab, and we have a, a test drive environment right there. And so we bring you right to that test drive where you can you know kick the tires yourself. You fire up a live environment. We have a series of exercises that you're taking through. And uh, I think I just checked yeah. with one of my colleagues, we're like well over, you know, well over 1,100 experiences of people doing that here, and that lab has 25 seats, but also externally. Yeah. So right off of HPE.com, that same test drive experience that we're yeah. doing here, people can launch at home. And so we got in this morning, there were like four guys logged in from New Zealand, you know, doing exercises, which is pretty neat. So, so when you ask me the question, what are the design considerations uh, that HPE GreenLake that we baked in and thought through, it's again that, hey, it's a, it's a big thing. Yeah, it's, a big, it's an experience. Let's start with you just digesting the, you know, the comp basic concepts. Then let's talk about your persona and how it directly yeah. maps to what you can do. And then if you want to get deeper, you know, we have the solutions that we designed behind it, solution demos. And, and if you want to drive it, but, you know, buckle up, let's go. Yeah, and you get right to a spot, multiple monitors, great experience, high touch. Um, that's awesome. I got to ask you another question because you've been, you know, pre pandemic, you've been doing a lot of this technical marketing and events, and then virtual hit. Right. Now we're back face to face. It's right. clear, Dave and I were just talking about our, on our opening day year, on day one, people love to see each other back. Every event we've been to, face to face, people are energized to a level we didn't even see. What are you seeing here in terms of performance? Obviously, you got salespeople here, you got executives here, you got customers right. face to face, right? Doing belly business. to belly, <laughs> belly to belly, as Dave says. That's a positive. What's it like? Explain what it's like. Well, I mean, you never, you never know what you got until it's gone, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. And so people didn't really realize that. Hey, we really needed to have this kind of touch and this this kind of activity. And it was funny because people be, before the pandemic. There was also a push to do a lot of virtual stuff. You know, economies of scale, yep. you know, some of that stuff works. Teams are making decisions, but then it all goes away and people realize how valuable, you know, just the conversations were, you know, meeting somebody. Relationships. Meeting somebody for a coffee, you know, talking through different, bumping into colleagues, 
that you haven't seen for years or you worked with somebody and now they're doing this and then you realize you have some sort of synergy with each other and you know you can still help each other and just the just you know just the discovery <laughs> of being at discover you know and running into these different types of things so uh, well you think about funny. it norm you know we, we've done plenty of stuff virtually we have but i think we've talked maybe four times this week yeah you i've seen you here walking around the hallways we saw you last night right yeah. you just that just wouldn't happen in your little virtual world. You know? Yeah, I mean, not at all. And during that virtual era, and I think we'll look back on that, and we're still going to do virtual stuff, of And course. we're learning, it's right? Value. I mean, it's, it's got it's, value, but sure. I just want to thank you guys for just being the cube and the whole yeah. team, you know, Frank, everybody, just tremendous partners through that, because you can still look at that content that we produced together last year, yeah. and it's yeah. still relevant. We're still sharing it. It still yeah. has impact. We. We point, you know, we tell people, hey, here's a call to action. You're leaving Discover. By the way, there's these three or four pieces out on the yeah. cube that really go at, go at this topic, right? That GreenLake event we did last year was phenomenal. It was. It was. And it was a partnership with you guys. And I, I you know, I, I speak on, on behalf of many of my colleagues here at HP. We just want to thank the cube for all the support and creativity uh, and how we got through well, that well, all together. Well, back at yeah. you, because, Norm, you were a real innovator. When John and I first met you, we were like, Hey, this guy actually, oh, yeah. he's going <laughs> to push us to some new levels. Technical marketing. You know, and, and, like, that's and our guy. team was a little nervous, yeah, yeah. a lot nervous actually, because you know, you do, you are not only demanding, but you're super creative. Yeah. Well, thank and you. And so you, thank you helped you. us, you know, up, up our game. Yeah. So, thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah. yeah. You know, Frank was getting, the, hey, Frank, Dave, can you guys do this? You know, so. Yeah. We were on the back. <laughs> well, no, I mean, but we were, we were growing and surviving yeah. and thriving together and getting through yeah. it. But what's coming out the other side now is a new format. You mentioned virtual. That's not going away. Hybrid is a steady state for all of us, even theCUBE. Yeah. So the new protocols and the new standards are emerging. I think that the newness of it scares people. Also, like, how do you do it? Um, who, whose role is it to yeah. take the virtual yeah. and digital? So this whole new set of experiences is still coming out. Yeah. What's yeah. your vision? How do you see this? Because face-to-face -face clearly is what everyone wants. From school, kids, to adults. Right. We want face-to-face. -face. Right. How does digital fit in? Well, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a really tricky question. I'll give you a, 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 I'll kind of back into the answer a little bit. Um, you guys can see this, right? Right behind us, we have this whole backdrop here. Greetings from the edge, a virtual reality experience. Well, we built that. We built that during the COVID era so we could have experiences with people remotely, right? Uh, and we use it for our executive summit. You know, last year for the virtual discovery, we shipped those Oculus headsets to everybody. They, everybody jumped into it, and so I was sitting there being a host, you know, with four <laughs> CTOs that were yes. scattered all over the world. So we were in cyberspace yeah. together, right? And so, of course, being good, uh, you know, good business people, we realized, hey, this is pretty fun, so let's dust it off and bring it out here for the more general public. So again, it was like a 200 person, you know, uh, executive level experience and all of that, but it had tremendous value, different types of experiences. I recommend you try it if you ever have the opportunity. Um, so that's a way that we started merging virtual reality and digital experiences to try to keep that human connection but now we're using it again and everybody's in these little pod rooms, six of them together. So they're having this experience in cyberspace and they're having it physically. Yeah. And so I think some, and everyone's enjoying being together and still in cyberspace together. So I think when we start to build assets and we start to look at different types of things and experiences, we got to think, we, we got to think through that now, right? You know, how is this, how is this investment or this, this experience, how's it going to translate, you know, outside of these four walls? Mm. Right, and how can we use it outside of these four walls uh, and create, you know, a, a more engaging experience? So that's a little bit of a backing into that answer, yeah, but yeah. I think I'm. I'm it's emerging. It's well, emerging. I'm saying it more as an example of us thinking through and trying yeah. to. Yeah, I love it though. I mean, you always, you've always been a, struck me as a visionary, and I, I loved that answer. And I can just see it's just going to progress. By the end of the decade, this is going to become, right. uh, a, a, you know, a normal sort of practice and we're going to bring people in from the outside and interacting. I love what you were saying about, yeah. even though we're here physically, we're actually creating a virtual world within this physical pod. We are. Yeah. Where can people discover more if, about that? About, about, this, about, about the those, show, those about the content that was here? Well, or? on hve.com, you can just launch into Discover. We have a tremendous amount of content that's been recorded, keynotes, sponsors, sessions, the Cube. They're dialed into all kinds of different pieces of yeah. assets that we've done. Um, I'll plug just another couple of things, just to t again, yeah. to talk about the connectivity of things that we're doing. So one of the projects that I lead, uh, I am very proud to lead it, is HPE Spaceborne and our Spaceborne computer. Spaceborne sure. Computer 2, flying the most powerful machine uh, computer to ever fly in space. 
Uh, we've been up there for a year. We've done 24 different experiments over the year to, for the benefit of the entire scientific community. Um, also, you know, doing things for the ISS National Lab and NASA, our partners up there. But what we've got is we've built a scale replica of the Columbus module, right? So this is, you know, this is a, t a 28 by 12 foot module. <laughs> hey, we're bringing her home. Yeah, yeah, seriously, yeah, they're going to pull the plug. <laughs> they're going to pull the plug on me soon, right? <laughs> so anyway, so we have that module built, right? And this is uh, we work with a Hollywood production company. We've had it before, but you know we, we've customized it. We have a live link to the ISS station in there, and, and so we're talking about everything that we're doing there. But also in this virtual reality experience, we have you going on a spacewalk, oh, right? Wow. And so we've we've captured that as well. So we've, we're tying this nice. physical and virtual experience together. Uh, and uh, so it's a fun project, so you can check that out. We did Exascale together well. during the pandemic, and that's when I first really got into to Spaceborne. It was awesome to see yeah. Frontier announced, actually breaking through the Exascale barrier. We, we were on the cusp, but we, we now see it breaking through. So yeah, congratulations yeah. on that. Thank you very much. Awesome. And you know, a couple, you know, just a couple other things that we're doing that's pretty exciting. I don't, I don't want to give away all my tricks. Uh, but, you know, we've organized our demonstrations through the customer lenses. So we have these customer journeys that we see people that are using our technology. You know, so I'm, I'm not talking about the storage business unit or, you know, the networking business unit, but how are our customers really trying to, you know, advance AI and machine learning, for example? How are they actually trying to, you know, protect their data? You know, the different things. The business issues. The business issues. Yeah. And so we've organized our demos through that. We have these, these pods and then satellites and you, 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 give, you walk through that whole thing and it's addressing different aspects of that. Um, and then another thing that we've done is we have tours yeah. here uh, as well, because there's so much content that people can take tours. And you know, 1,400 people have taken those tours. Uh, you know, and these are guided tours, headsets, That's curated, big numbers. designated places to go. And we see big traffic the first day or so and by design. And so we hit the highlights and then they decide how to use their valuable time later in the showcase about what they want to deep dive on. And so that's been a tremendous success for us. Well, Norm, thanks for bringing us on the tour of Discover. Yeah, well. And really you know, sharing that with our audience. And you've been an awesome partner and as I say, a great innovator. I, hope, I can't wait to see what's next. All right, All right. Well okay, done. we'll thanks see you so much. Hey, thanks for letting me on here, All right. guys. Our, our, Welcome to find, our pleasure. I'm somebody, I made You're it. You're a Cube alumni. Yeah. Yeah. You're, You're a Cube alumni. Right. Welcome I to made the Cube alumni. So guys, that's, great a, week. that's a wrap on, yeah. on day three. Uh, Dave Vellante, John Furrier for Lisa Martin. Don't forget to go to siliconangle.com where we've got all the news, all the interviews that we've done this week get written up and posted on siliconangle.com, thecube.net. I publish every week uh, my breaking analysis on, on, on wikibon.com. It's on a podcast, so check that out. Thanks to everybody, thanks to the crew, everybody yep. back at the office, really appreciate it, great job, and we'll see you next time. All right.